Good afternoon, everyone. It is a pleasure to be presenting our study titled Dynamics of Inflammatory Cytokines After an Acute Yogi Stretching Intervention, uh, Preliminary Results of a Pilot Study. So the primary goal of our study was to evaluate the feasibility and acceptability of a three-arm randomized clinical trial evaluating the acute effects of yogi stretching meaning a single session, while our secondary aim was to characterize the dynamics of systemic inflammatory cytokines following an acute yogi stretching intervention. Um, the result of, from these aims will allow us to explore our theoretical framework in the future. Uh, for what I can say briefly, that from the literature, uh, we know that one session of aerobic exercise of at least an hour uh, causes micro lesions in the muscle, connective tissue, and fascia. Um, these lesions can trigger a transient uh, physiological acute inflammation that we can uh, detect systemically by um, measuring changes in cytokine levels. Our three-arm RCT recruited healthy adults between 40 and 60 years old, known as smoking, and BMI between 19 and 29. <clears throat> then, uh, those that were eligible, uh, we scheduled uh, two consecutive study visits for each one of them. During visit one, after baseline samples and surveys, we randomized participants into three groups, uh, mild and intense stretching, and a control group. Afterward, those randomized to the stretching groups experienced an individual one-on-one yoga stretching session with the same sequence of stretching posture for 60 minutes in the same room around the same time with the same props, uh, wearing an H10 polar heart rate monitor on their chest, and each session was video recorder after their approval. <clears throat> Upon the end of the intervention, uh, participants were requested to move to a proceeding room where nurses performed the serial blood collection samples. Then participants were invited to come back the next day for one short questionnaire and one more blood draw. Here, uh, figure two depicts the sequence of steps to analyze each blood sample using a commercial human 12 cytokines inflammatory panel. Uh, results were expressed in pictogram by ML. Once the data was collected, uh, different exploratory analysis were performed, such as correlations at different time points, calculation of error in the curve, evaluation of cytokines, time curve for each group, and non-parametric longitudinal analysis. The following figure and table depict the participants' demographics. I would like to highlight three aspects of this table. First, the ratio of female-male. Our study successfully recruited 14 men, almost 50% of the target recruitment. Two, almost half of the participants were other than Caucasian. Three, um, the participants in general were an educated uh, sample. And finally, four, uh, table one indicates imbalances in age and BMI, probably due to the pilot nature of this uh, study. Overall, uh, our main aims results indicate that it was feasible to recruit participants and collect and analyze blood samples. This pilot study showed a high 88% adherence rate to the Joey stretching protocol, which indicate a high feasibility and of using the same protocol in a subsequent larger trial. To elaborate more on this, when we take a closer look at the adherence data, we found that participants with a BMI higher than 25 opted to practice the modification options of some postures instead of the original asana. In contrast, we did not see 
an effect of gender, age, or those randomized to the intense or mild drug stretching group uh, on the protocol adherence. This slide depicts the data analysis obtained with the polar Einstein heart rate monitor device that each subject uh, wore around their chest during the intervention. First, the upper graph shows the longitudinal heart rate for each group. As you all can see, both yogi stretching groups increased their heart rate during the intervention, um, and it went back down to baseline at the end when we were recovering from the practice, uh, meaning practicing Shavasana. Then below in the left corner, we plotted the calories expended during the intervention that lasted one hour. Um, on the lower right corner graph, this one shows the medium plus the interquartile range for the three groups as a summary data point per group. Again, both stretching, uh, yogi stretching groups had a higher heart rate median and uh, spend more calories than the control group. In this figure four, uh, we first calculated the magnitude of changes from baseline and immediately post intervention in seven cytokines identify, identified as the most informative ones. Later, we correlated them and the upper panel depicts the correlation strength between this cytokine in each group. In both stretching groups, we found more positive correlations between the cytokines compared to the control group. In figure five, our group prepared as an example, a visual graphic summary of longitudinal changes for interleukin eight each one representing different analysis modalities, such as time curves of cytokine expressing mean and a standard error of the mean per group, individual longitudinal responses using a spaghetti plots for each group, calculation of error under the curve for each group and each cytokine, and finally, a non-parametric approach to determine the proportion of participants with an equal or larger than 20% change from baseline, baseline values. <clears throat> so, in summary, our group successfully recruited 30 participants in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, which was very difficult, but we could do it with an 88% adherence to the yogi stretching protocol. The study actively recruited different ethnic group, which was very important for me and an achievement for our group. It was feasible to collect and analyze blood samples taken at multiple time points after mild and intense yogi stretching as well as in the control group. Our results suggest strong correlations between multiple cytokines in their initial response to mild and intense stretching, but not in the control condition. Uh, and this helped us uh, to identify some cytokines that were potentially, uh, I'm sorry, positively modulated by the intervention. And we hope to use some of these cytokines in future larger trial. And finally, uh, we hope that uh, future power studies uh, should include quantitative uh, methodologies to control for different stretching parameters, such as uh, intensity, duration, frequency, and hopefully uh, even uh, body posture. And with that, I want to thank you all for your attention. Um, thank you for the invitation as well. And have a good evening. Bye.